Are you dreaming of moving to Seattle, Washington? You might want to hold off on booking that moving truck just yet. The city's iconic skyline and vibrant cultural scene can be alluring, but what if I told you there are some pretty serious downsides to living in the Emerald City? Today we're diving into the top 10 reasons not to move to Seattle. Have you ever considered what it's really like to live under a constant gray sky? Or how challenging it can be to afford the skyrocketing cost of living? Seattle's natural beauty and tech jobs might be attractive, but there's a flip side you should be aware of before making any big decisions. Before we delve into the nitty gritty, I want to take a moment to thank you all for being here. Your support keeps this channel going, and if you enjoy what you see, please consider subscribing. It helps us bring you more great content, and we appreciate it so much. Now, let's take an honest look at what life in Seattle is really like. Buckle up, because this might change how you see the city. Let's get started. Clicking the subscribe button is a great motivation for the channel. Thank you very much. Number 1. The Homeless Crisis Seattle, known for its picturesque views and booming tech industry, is also battling a significant homelessness problem. Comparable to San Francisco, another tech hub struggling with a similar issue, Seattle is ranked third in the nation for its homeless population, trailing only behind New York and Los Angeles. The visibility of the homeless has increased dramatically since the pandemic began. With shelters limiting their capacity due to COVID-19 restrictions, more people have been forced to live on the streets, affecting daily life across the city. Areas like Belltown, once vibrant and bustling, now have visible encampments and a noticeable increase in crime. The problem isn't isolated. Many historical neighborhoods like Capitol Hill have seen a rise in homeless populations, making certain areas less appealing, especially after dark. Similar to San Francisco's Market Street, Seattle's Third Avenue is avoided by many locals due to drug-related issues and general safety concerns. Despite efforts to clear certain areas, the issue persists with no clear plan in place to help those struggling with homelessness and addiction. This ongoing crisis affects the quality of life and is a crucial factor for potential movers to consider, especially in today's challenging urban environments. Number 2. Rising Crime in Seattle Seattle's crime trends have garnered attention in recent years, with violent crime rates in 2022 reaching a 15-year high. The city saw 736 violent crimes per 100,000 residents, a slight increase from 729 per 100,000 in 2021. This surge presents a serious challenge to the city's efforts to maintain public safety. Despite a 9% decline in overall crime in 2023, caution is warranted, as Police Chief Adrian Diaz highlights that many property crimes still go unreported. In 2023, property crime dropped by 10%, but with a new online reporting system, future data might reflect a more accurate picture. Homicides, however, surged by 23% in 2023, totaling 64 incidents. This complexity in Seattle's crime landscape, where certain crimes rise as others fall, makes the situation challenging for law enforcement and policymakers. The city has also faced staffing challenges, with the police force shrinking to a record low of 1,047 sworn officers in 2023. To fully understand Seattle's evolving crime situation, it's important to review official reports and data dashboards provided by the Seattle Police Department and to consider the city's ongoing efforts to improve public safety and address the root causes of crime. Number 3. The Rising Cost of Living Living in Seattle has always been pricey, especially compared to other West Coast cities. The city's housing market is highly competitive, with the median sales price for a home hovering around $850,000, reflecting an 8.09% increase from last year. Listing prices average around $780,000, while sold prices are about $750,000. Seattle remains a seller's market, typically with homes selling for just under the asking price. For renters, the average monthly rent in Seattle is about $1,969, though this varies depending on the type and location of the rental. Rent prices have fluctuated, but they remain high compared to a decade ago. Additionally, the city's sales tax of 10.25% adds to the overall cost of living. 
Although Seattle is about 31% more expensive than cities like Chicago, the lack of a state income tax offers some financial relief. Seattle is undeniably a beautiful city, celebrated for its culture, scenic vistas, and vibrant neighborhoods. However, potential residents should assess their financial stability before making a move. In today's world, where financial planning is crucial, it's wise to carefully evaluate the city's rising costs to ensure a sustainable lifestyle. Number four, the big one. Seattle is situated on a fault line, and experts warn of a major earthquake known as the big one. This massive quake has been featured in many alarming videos, illustrating a scenario of extensive damage and a prolonged recovery. Experts predict that this earthquake could reach a magnitude of nine, potentially destroying Seattle's bridges and buildings. While newer buildings are designed to handle such events, many of Seattle's structures were built before modern earthquake-resistant standards. If you're thinking of moving to Seattle for the long term, it's essential to prepare for this potential disaster, as such an event could significantly disrupt daily life. Staying alert and being ready is key for anyone considering Seattle as their new home, given the possibility of this major earthquake. Number 5. Gloomy Weather Seattle's gloomy weather might be a deterrent if you're considering moving there. While it's often exaggerated, the truth is that winter months can be quite dismal. If you're working or in school, you might not see much daylight for weeks on end. This is one of the few places where taking vitamin D supplements is almost a necessity for maintaining health. In fact, from December through February, Seattle averages just three fully sunny days per month. The city's weather is perfect if you don't mind the gloom or have a penchant for vampire-like darkness. On the other hand, summers in Seattle are splendid, but you have to endure the long, overcast winters to enjoy them. The constant gray skies might affect your mood, so it's important to consider whether you're prepared for that kind of environment, especially in modern times where mental well-being is crucial. So, if you're planning to move to Seattle, keep this in mind as this characteristic might affect your lifestyle and overall happiness. Number six, horrible drivers. Seattle might be famous for its coffee culture and tech industry, but the city's drivers leave much to be desired. Navigating Seattle's steep terrain and winding roads can be challenging, even for experienced locals. Many Seattle residents aren't originally from the city, which often leads to drivers getting lost and making questionable decisions. Despite Seattle's rainy climate and occasional snow, some drivers behave as though they've never seen a drop of rain or a snowflake before. This poor adaptation can lead to frustrating commutes and nerve-wracking moments on the road. If you find yourself moving to Seattle, brace yourself for the chaos and be prepared to keep your cool. The best advice for driving in Seattle's unpredictable weather is to avoid sudden braking especially when climbing snowy hills. And number seven, drug issues. Seattle has been struggling with a significant meth problem for some time. This city, much like other large urban areas, has faced challenges associated with hard drugs for years. The presence of these substances often leads to related issues, such as higher crime rates and worsened mental health conditions for individuals battling addiction. Unfortunately, Viable solutions to this issue remain elusive. As a result, if you visit Seattle, you may encounter individuals who are visibly under the influence. The unpredictability of such encounters can be unnerving, especially when showing family or friends around. These situations can quickly turn a pleasant day into a stressful one, especially if someone under the influence becomes disruptive. Regrettably, this problem persists without clear solutions on the horizon, making it a significant concern for potential residents considering a move to the city. Number 8. Lack of Nightlife Seattle's nightlife is in its strongest suit. Unlike the vibrant scenes in cities like New York, Los Angeles, or Miami, Seattle's after-hours offerings are relatively subdued. Capitol Hill is a notable spot for entertainment, but even there, you might end up at a low-key bar overhearing endless startup pitches instead of enjoying a dynamic club scene. A friend of mine hoped to find a buzzing nightlife in Seattle, but was disheartened when most evenings ended up being quiet and low energy. If you value an active nightlife to unwind and socialize, 
Seattle might not be the ideal destination. Before making a move, it's wise to evaluate how the city's atmosphere aligns with your social preferences. Number 9. The Politics Seattle's political scene is quite divisive, and it's not just the politicians who are at fault. The discourse among residents can be incredibly frustrating, particularly when it devolves into endless complaints about politics or complaints about the complainers. Although true and honest dialogue seeking real change is invaluable, much of the conversation tends to be filled with sweeping generalizations and vilifying the other side. This becomes painfully evident when scrolling through local forums or reading the comment sections of news articles on social media platforms. Rather than fostering productive discussions, many conversations become toxic. For anyone considering moving to Seattle, it's worth noting that cooperation and constructive dialogue can often be hard to find. In our modern society, it's crucial to seek unity and collaborative problem-solving rather than feeding into divisiveness. If you're looking for a city where people work together harmoniously, you might want to reconsider Seattle. Number 10. California Seattle's relationship with Californians can be a bit tricky. If you're from California and planning to move here, it's probably best to keep that to yourself for a while. There's a noticeable dislike for Californians among some locals, and they're often blamed for driving up housing costs. While the accuracy of that claim is up for debate, Seattle is undeniably one of the most beautiful places globally, so it's understandable why people want to live here. And unlike California, you won't have to worry as much about rain. There are many reasons to think twice about moving to Seattle, but these were the top 10 concerns. While this list is opinion-based, if you agree or have similar experiences, let your voice be heard. Sharing different perspectives and engaging in meaningful conversations helps us understand these concerns better. Despite the negatives, Seattle has many positives as well, and a positive mindset can go a long way in making the city feel like home. Clicking the subscribe button is a great motivation for the channel. Thank you very much.